did what age i'm just curious joshua did you kind of grow out of the the religion aspect and and you were you were you driven by that fear of hell really intently or or did your kind of intrinsic doubt keep you from taking it fully seriously um i was probably about 18 to the 20 range when i started to be like yes does make a lot of sense uh i don't know i just watched things happen and i'm and i'm just thinking to myself why why would this be allowed to happen you're going to come up with some reason and explain to me that's part of his plan but i feel like i could have made a better plan than that and so this doesn't make a lot of sense like Mm -hmm. and i would just i would have thoughts like that like this doesn't make sense why is this allowed to happen why is this allowed to happen that's, I feel like I could do a little bit better of a job. I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything, but like there's some certain things like how about hungry people get some food? That doesn't seem too hard to ask. That doesn't seem like it hurt anybody yeah. really. Why don't, why don't, you know, stuff like that. So For you sure. Think you're better than God. Um, At least some, the Old Testament one. <laughs> <laughs> even, I, even I'm not so, but quite so sure there's not a God enough to say that. I mean, you need to calm down with that. Like, he might be up there. Like, like every now and uh, every now and then, like, I mean, he might be up there. Let's not tempt fate. Mm, I mean, we I, better hope that if that's real, he's he decided to stay Jesus and not go back to. Well, there's know, three of them. The Am I that's the only true. one who's always had a hard time wrapping my head around the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost situation? It's it never made a lick of sense to me because number one, like, well, I mean, like the Father, I was like, okay, that's God, that's the main man. He's his own son and father. It starts to get a little confusing, and then it feels like they just needed to get to three. And so they added a third one. And the Holy Ghost is like the the fourth line loser of that relationship. Like he doesn't seem to get anything. Give me just, a hockey reference. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way I always think of it. And like that, but it, that, even like learning, like growing up, they'd be like, God does this. Jesus says that. And the, the Holy Ghost, you know, he's he is certainly there. <laughs> <laughs> at like, well, at like the Pentecostal him. church, it was very focused on spiritual gifts not so much Mm -hmm. about what's in the bible or verses or any of that it's just like if you have spiritual gifts you're in you're good to go and so like that's what they focused on if you it's bizarre you had to be able to like see prophecies like so they would like have kids come up and give a prophecy and i'm like part of like i was i don't know 13 i was like this guy's making that up okay like maybe you had the other one but this one my mom gonna give me jolly ranchers tomorrow (laughs) like he's gonna get a new car in the name of jesus and stuff and it's like what and he would just you know start saying like people are gonna get material items Mm -hmm. and it's like that's that's what you're prophesizing like nothing bigger than just he's gonna get a new job and some money and a car and i don't know there's just a lot of focus on spiritual gifts and materialism like it was all about money you know pray for more money and you'll get more money and i don't it was it was very strange yeah and the whole like not knowing with prayer that confused me as a kid because it like i would pray a ton go on tell us yeah like meaning like if god says no that means that no is the right answer and it'd be like i remember as a little kid my grandparents have since stopped smoking uh so maybe the prayer worked just very, very late. But I remember being like, please let my grandparents stop smoking fucking 50 cigarettes each a day. I don't want them to die. And nothing ever happened. And in my head, I remember thinking, I never talked to my parents or anyone about this. they smoke 50 a day? And probably two packs each I a day. I choose to believe 40, it's 50 and he drops F-bombs in his pair. Yeah, they, they smoked like 40 <laughs> cigs each a day for 50 years, so long. And uh, they just didn't stop smoking until I was much older, like an adult out of the religion thing. And I remember as a kid thinking like, well, I guess for some reason, God's plan is for them to keep smoking. Well, that doesn't seem like a good plan. That's pretty scary. Uh, yeah, and, and I was probably, I tried really hard throughout my teen years to believe it. Because, Until one day yeah. you're trapped in the wilderness and your grandfather's lighter saves you all. Just like in, <laughs> just, just, just like in, um, or what's the, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan movie with Mel Gibson? Signs? Yeah. Just like, yeah. like, like it, it all makes sense. But your, your grandpa pulls out that Zippo, clink, and there's like, saved. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to murder you and your family unless you give me 30 cigarettes. Oh. Well, I hope Christians will do. <laughs> you- oh, they killed him anyway. Taylor, did you ever have people say stuff to you like, God put this on my heart or God told me and you yeah. were ever like, what do you sound like? What does that feel like? Can you can you just quantify that a little bit more? Just make that yeah. make sense because I don't know what, oh, you know, it, how do I know if it's my own yeah. thoughts or not? Dude, we, we 
totally aligned on that same page. Yeah. I had, I dealt with that. And I remember once in particular, I've, I've told this many years ago, but I was in study hall first hour in high school and we had a religious kook as our study hall monitor. And it's only a 50 minute study hall. It was first hour now as a senior. So I didn't really have to come in for it. And she would do a uh, lesson for like 25 minutes of this 50 minute study hall. And she would be mad if you didn't like pay attention to it. And I remember I came in once as everyone was praying. So I was a little late and I sat down and she, uh, Mrs. Davis opened her eyes and was like, Taylor, the Holy spirit told me you just came in late. And I wanted to be like, are you sure you didn't just notice me coming? Late? <laughs> bitch. But then another time, this was a, a few weeks later, I came in and I, I had math to do because I procrastinated. I didn't care. And I just sat down. I started working on my math and I had learned, you know, religious jujitsu in my brain by like using verses tactically. And so she was like, Taylor, I the Lord is telling me that this lesson is really important for you right now. Do you think it would be a good thing to pay attention to this and, and take away what you can from the Holy Spirit? She was big on the Holy Spirit. And I was like, Miss Davis, I understand what you're saying. But the Bible also says when you do something to do it to the best of your ability for the glory of God. And if I weren't to pay attention to my math homework right now, I wouldn't be doing the Lord just service. And she was like, ah, OK, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lose. Bitch. <laughs> no, I, 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 was, I would dude, I, I rode that high all day. <laughs> I was too afraid. I, I was afraid if I ever tried anything like that, God would know. And he'd be like, you're using it the wrong way. So like, I was too afraid to ever mm -hmm. do any of that stuff. But like, I would always think there's a verse that goes against that. I'm pretty sure. But oh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You're the elder, the adult, whatever. I'll do it. And, and often it seemed like a way for nosy people to facilitate gossip where they would want to ask like a teacher would want to be like, Taylor, I noticed you're hanging out with blah, blah, blah. And they were having a party and, and, and drinking this past weekend. The Lord's been telling me that I need to approach you and ask you about this. You know, he's been telling me that that he thinks you're receptive and that you're ready to change. And it was like, you just want me to I, I wouldn't say this. I would be like a. a and no, I wasn't even there, but it'd be like, OK, you just you just want to get gossip and get people to like rat on their friends like this says the Lord did not tell you that a bunch of 17 year olds were getting drunk. That's what 17 year olds tend to do like that. It, I, I hated that. And even at that age, it was so easy to see through the bull that level of bullshit. I, I still was like afraid of like the big level of God and everything, but it was became easier and easier to see how uh how people manipulate it and use it to get gossip, use it to guilt you. Um, some of the absolute biggest scumbag, worst people I knew in high school, both teachers and students, were the people who were the most involved in the religious shit. They were the ones that stood there in the front of the auditorium and raised their hands as they were singing. And, you know, first of all, the, the way they would always go to the front to put their hands up so that everybody behind them can see when you pray. Do not as the Pharisees and Sadducees do go into your room and keep it private because this is time between you and the Lord, you know, but they weren't like that. And it was just a convenient way for them to be above reproach for any sort of criticism. That that's what I noticed. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it, it falls apart. The more you notice. It's a, it, it's a religion is full of hypocrites. It's, it's just completely full of hypocrites um, mm -hmm. and judgmental Karens. Yeah. And, and there and, are good, there are genuinely good people <clears throat> I did think were trying to look out for me and they thought God was talking to them. I do believe that. I don't think all of them were bad. I think a lot of them were misguided. Um, yeah, it, it is, it's pretty fucked the amount of damage you can do to a kid long term, like from the whole fire and brimstone shit. Because uh, that affected me for a long time. I remember when I was at the camp, um, when I kept asking, like, how does this work? Why can't I do it? How come they can do it? his only answer was like, you have something that you haven't asked forgiveness for. And so like, mm -hmm. I don't know, me being 13, I'm thinking about the petty off of yeah. the pettiest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like, just like, did I, was I, was I like late to bed? Did I stay up late? My parents said to go to bed. Like, mm -hmm. did I like say a curse word when I was playing Halo 2 on Xbox live once? Like I'm going through anything yeah. that I've ever done wrong. And and that's just like where they just left trying me. to plug that hole, trying to remember that one thing that you didn't ask for forgiveness for. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I totally empathize with that. I, I would like lay down in bed at night when I was a kid and be like, OK, uh, God, I asked for forgiveness because I wasn't very nice to X, Y, Z. And also I, I said a bad word on my breath and I said 
this and I didn't pray earlier today, which is probably bad. And it was like it was like a ritual of self-flagellation mentally at least where you convince yourself that you're this horrible yeah. person that needs to be redeemed from just everyday things like like, like one day you're going to be like right right i fucking swung on the banister too hard and made it looser <laughs> yeah. and that's that's why i can't speak in tongues yeah. I, that's a huge I, sin I, god was a carpenter <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a line. <laughs> uh, uh, that sucks they just convinced you that you had done something wrong and didn't ask for forgiveness. And that's why you mm -hmm. were like not being recognized by the Lord. It, it Wow. Yeah. yeah that, that, speaking in tongues thing is wild because we didn't have to deal with that. At least like being told, I can't imagine how hurtful it was and like damaging to your psyche and whatnot being told like, Oh, all these other kids, they're frontline first, first ballot hall of fame, heaven people. You, you might be swinging, dancing with Satan, bitch. Like that, that that's, it's scary. See, Again, you're making hell look better. Well, you, so you're dancing with Satan at this point? No, but he's he's also stabbing you. <laughs> he <doesn't laughs> what are you fire. doing in heaven? That's so cool. I mean, they. Say I never hear about is. dancing with I, Jesus. I remember like reading about heaven and revelations in school, and then being like, "And heaven is the Lord sitting there, and he has a thousand eyes and ten crowns of gold, and it's like really fucking wild, and like, and God has the head of a of a lion and the head of an eagle and the rede and it's like it's very. Are confusing. you on mushrooms in heaven? I mean, revolution. <laughs> Re 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 Book of Revelations is wild. It doesn't make any goddamn sense, and also like what they actually spell out heaven is it's not like you get to like go watch great sports and eat good food it's like no you stand around the lord Insane. praising him for all eternity and i was like i can't handle a two-hour church <laughs> and you know <laughs> some of the interesting things that they say about heaven and my, my mom said this to me once and i was like this is literally i remember this so well i remember exactly where we were we were in livonia georgia at a red light um, I know exactly where it is. It's, uh, it's you know. Lavonia's and, uh, only red light. Yeah. <laughs> we, there's one, there's like at least four. Okay. All right. Hey, we're, it's, <laughs> we're a big city in Lavonia, okay? My bad. <clears throat> and uh, she said something, like my mom and dad were in the front, my sister and I were in the back. And uh, she said something about how in heaven, uh, we wouldn't know each other. You know, we wouldn't know each other yeah. as as like mother, brother sister father you know that that would be gone that whole concept that would be gone and i was really upset by that and my dad goes don't tell them that <laughs> why would you tell them that and my mom was like it's the truth and it, he's like well i'm not interested anymore then <laughs> and I, I remember thinking to myself i'm not interested either if if, mm -hmm. if we can go to hell and at least know who my fucking father is still like like that's the because that's what's really important to me, and that, and that's partially like why your story upsets me so much. Like like going back to like where we began, mm -hmm. family's very important to me. Like I love my father, I love my mother. Like like we've got a core like thing there where like man, it it means a lot to me. It means a lot. It means everything to me. Mm -hmm. And and the idea of like quote unquote paradise in there like like it's all about praising some deity I've never met before. And it's not about this person that that gave me that actually gave me life, that actually raised me, that actually didn't judge me growing up and took care of me. The guy who bought me my fucking first car, the guy who like like took care of me when I was sick, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, that's the guy I want to know in the for all eternity. Right. Not some made up guy who sent his son to be tortured and murdered. Yeah. Who he sent attraction? himself to die. To my dad doesn't love death. anyone enough to send me to be tortured and murdered. God's a bad guy. <laughs> he is. And he's vain too. Like I remember even like teenage being like, so he like wants us to worship him forever. Like, like, so and mean. I was like, like, so if I were to like make a bunch of Lego men that I bought, I make them like, I give them souls and everything. The last thing I want to do is make them worship me forever. Like it, their, their little Lego minds must be so far from the unfathomable greatness of God that like, why would you care? Why set up this huge a, rigmarole just to stroke your own ego? I can tell you. If you look at it as a business venture, you need their undying devotion. And you need them not to look at mm -hmm. your competitors to keep funding that money towards you. You want undying devotion. You want them to understand that giving you cash is their way into the eternal paradise. Mm -hmm. And like when you look at it through that lens, it's like, oh, that's why 40% of the, of the Ten Commandments are related to loyalty to me. It's because you're my customer. I give you bullshit. You give me money. Yeah. My attraction to heaven 
was always this. I had this dumb idea. I don't think it's in the Bible. That <laughs> y- you look like you in heaven, but peak you, right? So I had this idea that there's this slider that you dial between like zero and 76, however long you made it, and choose which one, which which version of you, like 18, no, 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 27, a little expired, until you find like your perfect <laughs> age, and that's what you look like. Nope, Just, that is certainly not how they say it works. <laughs> <laughs> But, 